coming home to vote. That's what it means. It feels like it felt in 2018. Do you agree? Do you agree? And my friend earlier said, Pakatan Harapan, yes, they had a few issues. Well, I agree. They did. And I was very concerned. But lo and behold, they have got their act together just in time. And I have full confidence in Pakatan Harapan and Muda in forming government for us. Now, I want to give a shout out to Global Bursay and all those people who carried votes and brought them home. Can we give a shout out? Global Bursay, yay! Bravo! Saya ucap tahnia kepada Global Bursay. They have done a wonderful job. Now, when they can do so much, when they can do so much to get their votes home, the least we all can do is to go out and vote. I know all of you are going to vote. Am I right? But between today and tomorrow, I hope each and every one of you will call up a friend who wasn't going to vote. Tell them about Global Bursay. Tell them about the postal voters, the pilots who are carrying our votes back, and tell them to vote because of them. Tell them to vote because of the hard work so many people put in to bring Undi 18. Are there 18 year olds here? Are there 18 year olds here? Yes, put your hands up. Come on, let's hear some noise. You're the young ones in the audience. Yes. Yes, you should all go out and vote. It feels great to vote. Once you have voted and you walk out of that station with your inked finger, you feel wonderful. You feel that you have carried out your responsibility. Tanggung jawab kepada negara kita. You have actually carried out Tunaikan tanggung jawab. You have already carried out your responsibility to the country. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it, what, is what it's all about. I mean, why are we all here? Why are we all here? We are here because we love... The In history, we brought change through the ballot box. That never happened before, Saudara Saudari. First time. Memanglah ada Sheraton move dan sebagainya, ya. Yeah? And Pakatan Harapan only had 22 months. Yes, all of that happened. But change is difficult. Change doesn't happen overnight with one election. You may need a few elections before we strengthen. And with every election, we will get stronger and stronger as long as the people come out and do what they are supposed to do in history. And I believe you will. I have full confidence that you will. We know we cannot live with this corruption anymore. We know that. We cannot live with the abuse of power. We know that. We cannot have a few people getting very rich, brought change, having the bloated ballot. cabinet. Wanting to stay in power at all costs, we know we cannot have that anymore. And don't forget, we have all invested our lives in this country. I can say that at my age. Our lives, my parents did. My parents did as well. And they went and voted every single election, my parents. They voted for BN La. But BN was different then. They trusted the party they voted for. But can Box they that trust? That never happened. Can anyone, my parents have passed on, can anyone trust what we, we cannot have right live now. with the abuse of power? We know that. And they went. So in they voted for BN La. But it is all a question of trust. Can you trust these leaders to do what is right for the country? For the people, for our children, BN was can different you trust then. these leaders is my question. 
And I know I trust Gobin 110%. I want Gobin to be a minister again. I will trust my life in his hands. And by the way, he has actually saved they me yeah, when, I, when they, I was arrested. I will trust him 110%. I can safely say that. I'm going after this to I speak for Hannah Yeo. I for. can trust 110% also. <laughs> you be in, 110%. I can run down the list. But can they that trust? Never have also. I'm not going to give you the names of the other side, lah, because we can't trust them. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> and honestly, some of them, I can't remember the names. It's so forgettable, okay? Because we had two changes, don't forget. Cabinet changes. But when I think of the Pakatan Harapan, 110% ministers that we have, that's who I, I want back in parliament. So, Saudaro Saudari, it is not <laughs> enough answer. <laughs> for you to just get Gobin in as and MP. We need to get the Gobins, the but Hannas, when I think the Yobins, the 110% ministers. ministers. That's what we must aim for. That's what we must aim for. And look at the new party, Muda. That's who I'm I fantastic. want. Fantastic. For the first time, 30 year olds, 20 plus people with young families, as I know some of MP. them. One of them worked we, in my office. Wei Jet, who's running in Tiangjung Pi. And I know his difficulties, he's got a two-year-old daughter. We need to get daughter. the Gobins, the but Hannahs, when I think of they the are prepared to do this for the country. I salute their courage. Said Sadiq, I salute their courage. 110%. Yesterday, I spoke for Rahayu at Tanjung Karang. She works from the ground up. I she was some helping them. children One of that nobody else wanted to help. Refugee children. These are the kinds of people who are running now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't we my want to see them Wei in Jet Parliament running and in Cabinet and with our and Prime know Minister he, there. Yes, that's what we want. She works that's why from the ground up. Tomorrow has to be a sweep and I think it can be done. It can be done. Say it don't we all over and over again. It can be done. It can be done. It can be done. Yes, we must make Pakatan Harapan and Muda. We must put them. We must have in government again, in some capacity or the other. These are people we can trust with our money, with our health. Dr. Zul was a fantastic health minister. So, as far as I'm concerned. There's no competition. There's no competition between PH, Muda, and the others. We must have government others. again. For health, no Dr. competition. Zoo was a fantastic PH health minister. And Muda, in my view, so as far as I'm concerned, hands down. There's no Saudara, competition. Saudari. Hands down. And we must make it happen. So between today and tomorrow morning, I know all of you are going to vote. Between today and tomorrow morning, Make as many phone calls as you can. Every vote counts. This must Put be a huge way again by the, the people. Health? Because at the end of the day, Saudara Saudari, they, it is your vote that will frighten them.